Man, this hey Ross again, Ross Media. You did, man. That motherfucker Mike Tyson, Roy Jones, shit was funny. Roy, Roy came to survive. He ain't coming to get Tyson out of there. I think he came just to survive, just to pop, pop, move around, get the fuck up out of there, for real. Roy surprised me. I thought Roy's gonna get his ass knocked out. If Roy would have stood there and fought how I thought he was gonna fight, he was gonna get his ass knocked out. You know what I'm saying? That was gonna happen. But Roy wanted to kinda try to play the stick and move. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with Roy. Roy Roy because just for the simple fact, Roy had the heart to get in there with Mike Tyson at this age, after he'd been knocked out and all kind of shit. He had the heart and he had the strategy and and it was to stay on them two feet and don't get knocked out. So that's a salute to Roy. Tyson, you did your thing, homie, coming out the 15 years. You know what I'm saying? And uh, smoking weed and all that shit getting it cracking. It is what it is, baby boy. But that's what's up. It was, it was entertaining. Then you got Snoop commentating, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with it. Tyson won. It wasn't no draw, but you know, it was, I think, a political thing or something. I ain't, can't say political, but it's in some sense because the belts had Black Lives Matter on there. So obviously the WBC felt like, you know what I'm saying, they had to say something about that. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of odd you got two black people fighting talking about Black Lives Matter. But hey, what about? But the motherfucking media, Ross Media, y'all stay tuned, you did.